hit. So how's the, how's the coaching staff going to work for the bowl game? What how many guys do you got, and how you yeah. kind of deploying them? Yep, yep, yep. So uh, special teams wise, Coach Cookus is still here, um, so he'll do that like he's been doing. Um, Frizz, who was his quality control coach, is going to get an elevated role, so he'll be on the field as well, helping with teams. Uh, the whole staff does teams, kind of a team effort. Yeah. Defensively, Coach Lange is going to stick around and do that. Uh, he'll call it during the bowl game. Uh, Brandon Hubert, the coach of linebackers, he was our defensive quality control coach, so he was there and been in the room and knows yeah. all the guys, so it'll be fine. Um, we got Yams, our defensive uh, quality or uh, graduate assistant, is still in his role. Uh, coach Cook is actually going to help coach the safeties as well. Uh, he and I coached together at Montana, and I know the dude's a really good coach and yeah. uh, he's a good secondary guy, so he'll help Coach Perkins back there. Coach Perkins is still here coaching the corners. Um, offensively, I plan on calling the plays. Uh, John Boyer, who's our offensive quality control coach, and it was in the quarterback room, uh, will be the offensive coordinator and work with the quarterbacks and kind of uh, be the voice in that room when I'm not available. Um, Tori Gill, who helped me with receivers, is going to help with the running backs. Uh, he's got a little more experience and can kind of adapt a little bit. Uh, Trayvon Bradford, who's one of the smartest players I've coached, is going to take over that receiver room for me. Um, and then uh, Caden, our offensive graduate assistant, is going to work with the O-line. And okay. so, and we'll probably do more unit meetings together. And uh, But I do think it's a, a great opportunity for those young coaches to get some hands-on experience. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if they're willing and, and to listen, get a little tutelage along the way. Um, but, you know, when I was a GA, I would have I would have paid money to get this kind of experience. Right. Yeah. So um, I, I'm a positive dude. I find a positive in every situation. And I just think this is going to change somebody's life in a positive way. And, and it's it's been fun. You, uh, you you call plays in Montana? Is I've called play? plays at Western Washington, Montana, Yale. Um, I called some plays here. I wasn't the play caller, but we all, you know, had a role so in that. So this would be like getting on the bike again? Yeah, I, I feel confident that that would be, you know, the, the work when you call plays, the work is done during the week. Yeah. You know, like the game day is, you know, if, if you don't got a plan on Saturday, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. As far as players go, who who is not going to play in the bowl game that you know of? Um, still kind of sorting through it, honestly. Um, you know, the, with the week the way it was, uh, and Coach Bray getting announced recently, there are still conversations being had. Um, we had a majority of guys at practice today. Um, I think DJ officially hit the portal, so we anticipate him not being in the ball game. But I think everybody else, uh, as far as I know, is, is – is good how until I'm told otherwise. How about your tackles? Um, uh, Tali, uh, I believe, is is not, and uh, you know, I think rightfully so. I think he's got. Um, you think he's maybe a good. first round grade? Right. So you think he's probably not going to play? Football, um, right? I'm assuming he won't. Yeah. yeah. What about Joshua? Uh, to be determined. Yeah. Yeah. Was he at practice today? He was. Yeah. Oh, okay. He was in meetings and at practice. Caden was there. And, mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Any decision? I mean, I was, again, you said a lot of decisions still to be made, but in regards to that quarterback decision, do you guys potentially go with Ben, obviously his final season at Oregon State, or do you guys maybe go with someone like Aiden Charles to see a little bit more with what he can give the program, obviously, going forward into the future? Um, well, the depth chart dictates that. So Aiden was our backup quarterback all year. So, um, it, you know, he's he's elevated. Everybody just kind of bumps up. And then we still got two weeks of practice to sort that stuff out, too. And, uh, you know, everybody forgets Ben. All Ben did was win a bunch of games last year and was the Las Vegas Bowl MVP. So um, I'm excited about Ben. I'm partial to Ben because when he was a young guy, I was calling the, the twos on offense, and he and I would come up with some crazy stuff to run. And, now we can kind of do it. So. What, what's this going? What do you feel like this is going to be like for you? Uh, it's a cool opportunity. You know, you get a chance to sit in the, the chair and kind of get a feel for it. It's not an opportunity that people get all the time. Everybody sits in the meeting when the head coach is talking and goes, "Hey, when I when I'm doing it, I'm going to do it this way." Well, now um, I got a chance to do it. So uh, it's a learning experience. It's humbling. Um, but it's a great opportunity to serve others, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, I'm, 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 I'm ready to learn something out of this experience, and uh, I, I'm excited that I get to help these guys finish this season, and it's really a start of a new season, and um, I, I don't take that for granted. I think it's fun. Are you interested in coming back on this staff? I am coming back, yeah. But well, you are coming back, mm -hmm. so you try and already talked, okay. Yeah. I'm just curious, what's been kind of your mindset over these last couple of days, having to kind of move on, obviously, from Smith leaving to Bray being introduced and obviously being named the interim coach? How do you kind of, you know, make sure that you stay focused, stay on task when you have all these moving parts that are going around you, you know, in just a short span of a couple of days? Yeah, you know, you guys don't know me very well, but if it don't stop my heart from beating, 
I, I keep it pushing, man. Like, it is what it is. It's all relative. I, we chose to do this for a living. Nobody. Every day I wake up, I make the decision to come in here and go to work. Nobody puts a, you know, nobody forces me to do it. This is this comes with the territory of coaching football at this level. Um, if I didn't want to deal with it, I wouldn't do it. And so it is what it is. It's a byproduct of, byproduct of it. Uh, there's too much positive stuff going on here to let things like that affect you negatively because I don't think it's a negative situation. I really don't. I think everybody uh, came out of this thing okay and will come out of it okay. Um, I've had experience with coaches retiring, coaches getting fired. It is what it is. And so you just keep pushing. Uh, this is not the worst. I tell the players, this is not the worst thing that's going to happen to them in life. If it is, it's a beautiful life. So um, you live and learn and grow from it and uh, keep it all in perspective. I got a beautiful wife and kids. And so I go home every day. They don't care anything about this. Um, so, yeah, man, I just it's all relative to me. When did you get a sense that things were going to change last week or weeks ago? I, I'm a straightforward person. I take people for, for their word. Um, you know, nobody said they were leaving, so I didn't think anybody was leaving. Uh, coach announced it Saturday. That's when I knew it was real. I, I don't look for things to speculate about. I'm just not that kind of cat. There's just so much stuff to do when you do this job. I'm not into chasing ghosts and, and that. I, I'm just, you know, I know I got players to coach. We got a game to play. We got a game plan to do. Like, I, I got a wife and kid. Like, I got so much stuff that I have to focus on. I'm not into looking for other things to, to worry about. I just, I am not. Yeah. You talked about those decisions, um, a lot of decisions to be made. With Bray now being announced as head coach, um, you know, not only do you have to have those conversations with players, but also he does. How have you guys kind of gone about that to try and feel out, you know, which players will stay, which players are planning on leaving? Just what is your guys' kind of yeah. game plan for that? I think Trent, one of the things I really appreciate about Trent uh, is that he's got a great relationship with every player on the roster. Like, I, I think there's very few coaches that vibe with everybody. Guys, you know, offensive guys vibe with offensive players, defensive guys vibe with defensive players, but it's rare that you get coaches that can go into any meeting room and just get the same reaction and the same love, and he's one of those guys. And so I think those conversations are pretty easy. Um, I think he and I have been in constant communication on guys that we're speculating about, and, hey, I think you might want to talk to this guy. And, uh, you know, we're sharing information because we're, we're getting it from different pieces. Um, and so he and I collaborate often on it. Um, and, I, and I do feel like I got a good pulse of the team and I got a good, you know, I can go talk to the linemen and the DBs and the receivers. And so um, I think if you have real relationships with players, they, they give you real feedback and answers. And that's the only thing you can ask for. Trent's not, obviously not coaching the game, but how much involvement do you think he'll have in the plan and, and maybe helping you? you no, know, well, we talked about Trent's going to work on the, uh, you know, putting the, the staff together and recruiting and just kind of all the head coach stuff that, that goes on at this time of year. And he wanted me to focus on the football piece and the bowl game. And um, so that's kind of how we're going to tackle it. I think that's a good way to do it because he's got a whole recruiting class to kind of keep keep in tap and we got a really good group of kids on deck and we don't want to lose those guys and so I do think it's going to take some focus to do that and on the flip side of that it will do wonders for the program if we show up in this bowl game and, and play like we've played all year and so I think in order to do that it would be hard kind of splitting both duties and so um, I think I'm capable on my side I know he's capable on his side and hopefully together we can we can make this year special like it's been so fourth and three balls at midfield are you Jonathan or somebody else <laughs> Hey, I, I, I'm from Oakland, California, man. I'm not scared of nothing. So if, if, if I want to go for it, I'm going for it. And it is what it is. If we don't make it, the defense has got my back and vice versa.